Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. I'm cracking up because I've clearly been watching too much Partridge Family. <laughs> My hair looks like Keith's. It was in this. So I took it out and it's all warped. Who cares? I just thought I'd drop in quickly while my column is being edited by Judith M. Villeneuve, Maine. Never thought I'd have to do this, but I wrote a column explaining that Nancy Pelosi is in no way, shape, or form a socialist. Yes, you heard that from me, Lisa Halzerman. If Nancy Pelosi is a socialist, then I am an African-American lady. Man, actually, I'm an African-American man, which some might think that I am. But it, that kind of rhymes. Anyhow... Yeah, that was the nature of the column. I found it necessary to do this when I was perusing Facebook the other week. And, um, oh gosh, somebody who's in local government actually said that we need to support Donald Trump and uh, stop Nancy Pelosi's socialist agenda. So I just thought it was hilarious. Got together with a few of my friends that are socialists, told them about it, and um, put in the actual definition of socialism, which has nothing to do with capitalism. Therein lies the problem, ladies and gentlemen. It's a different economic policy. I've been over this before. Anyhow, I'm not going to go off on that entirely. I just wanted to drop in and say hello. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm saying hi while my column is being really gone over with a fine tooth comb by Judith M. Villeneuve. And I think that's uh, Zoe. She meows constantly, wanting fed. It's crazy. It's out of control. We're having a bizarre weather event here. You can always count on warm weather when the uh, ice fest is in town. This weekend is the Ice Festival, ladies and gentlemen, here in charming downtown Connie Lake, held at Ice House Park, I might add. And I think I might go down. I'm going to have to go Saturday because there's a book that's available at the Historical Society Museum that they want $50 for on uh, eBay. $50. You know how much I'm going to pay Saturday? $10. The author, a local man, gave them... Uh, he gave them like a case of these books or something as a uh, donation for, you know, keeping the memories alive or whatever they do. Anyhow, um, yeah, so the Ice Festival, I believe the weather is going to be, I think they set up in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken. So, if you ever want a nice holiday, not a holiday weekend, but a nice warm weekend in winter, just schedule an Ice Festival, ladies and gentlemen, or a Snowball Festival, which I guess we don't have anymore. I should know this. I'm a member of the media. I don't think we have the Snowball Fest anymore. I think it's been taking, taken over by the Ice Fest people. And be an Ice Fest people got stars in his eyes. That wouldn't even make any sense. Okay, um, I'm done. Just uh, That's it. I just wanted to drop in and say hello. Tell you the nature of my column. Tell you about the Ice Festival. I think I'm going to be doing some filming if I can get there on time to the museum. And uh, Dave Holland, I think my friend Dave is going to go with. Or I'm going to go with him or somehow we're going to go together. And I'm sure that he will coax me into going down to the actual sculptures. And I'll take some photos and do some videos. I'm not... I don't want to say any more about it. I normally don't cover it for reasons that are secret. Okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. And it's time for my banana clip to return to my hate. Bye.